Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. We have ranked these products based on many hours of research and testing, and we've picked the five best models. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. First, we'll discuss what you should look at before buying. Then we'll look at the five best picks. To make it easier, we'll include timestamps in the description. Let's get started. Before we jump into the best PC cases, first I want to talk about a few things that you should look at before buying one. Firstly, size. Before anything else, you should decide what size case you need. As you may know, there are three major case sizes, full tower, mid tower and mini ITX. The mid tower and the full tower cases both fit standard ATX motherboards, but they can also fit smaller micro ATX motherboards. The full tower cases are massive and I'd recommend these if you plan on loading up your rig with extensive water cooling, three and four way graphics card setups or storage galore. On the other hand, the mini ITX cases are built for diminutive mini ITX motherboards. Price. After you decide how big of a PC case you need, next you should figure out your budget. There are plenty of great PC cases in the market right now and you shouldn't look at the ones that are too cheap because they're not very durable and they don't have some extra features that might help you with the setup. However, I would also not recommend you go for the pretty expensive ones. You just have to figure out your budget and pick the one that fits you best. And lastly, other features. Moving on, I want to talk about some other features that you should look at before buying a PC case. The more advanced features and build processes utilized in a case, the more expensive the case will be. There are plenty of PC cases that are not very expensive and provide great performance. You should check out some handy features that make your PC building process much easier. For instance, the integrated lighting, cable management, 3.5 inch bays and mounting points, removable mother tray, dust filters, adequate GPU and CPU clearance, support for water cooling and more. These are a few things you should look at before buying a PC case. So without further ado, let's take a look at our top five picks for PC cases in 2020. At number five, it's the Cooler Master H500P Mesh. When it comes to PC cases, Cooler Master needs no introduction. Since 1992, the company has done a great job and has manufactured plenty of great PC cases. One of the best is the Cooler Master H500P Mesh. This one has a nice design and it's very popular among PC enthusiasts. It has mesh up front to ensure optimal airflow, which is great. It has two 200mm RGB fans up front and there's a single 140mm black colour non-RGB fan at the rear. Overall it looks pretty good and the chassis features 7 plus 2 PCIe slots. You should know that there's no 5.25 inch drive support, but in the storage department this chassis can support up to 4 2.5 inch SATA drives and two 3.5 inch SATA drives. You can easily mount the graphics card and the vertical layout, though it sits way closer to the tempered glass side panel. Something else you should know is that the chassis has support for up to 360mm radiator at the top and on the front, which is amazing. Moreover, this drive cage has two caddies and two 2.5 inch SATA brackets are also provided. On the back of this case there's a large cutout on the left side for the I.O. shield of the motherboard. On the right side there's a mounting for 120 or 140 mm fans with great height adjustment. Furthermore, on the bottom, four feet are cut to shape to match the overall design symmetry, which is great. On the top of the front side, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports, two audio jacks, two USB 2.0 ports, a reset button, an LED indicator, and a Cooler Master logo designed power button, which looks and feels nice. To sum up, I would say that this one offers almost everything a user could need to build a high-end PC. At number four, it's the Fractal Design Define R5. Moving on, we have another great PC case. It's the Fractal Design Define R5. This one is packed with intelligently designed features, delivering a silent case with powerful and expansive air. It has liquid cooling support and it reaches the highest level of silent computing through the Modjuvent fan vent covers and the nicely tuned Dynamic Series fans. It looks and feels nice and has plenty of other features that a high-end gaming PC case should have. When it comes to design, this one looks very simple and plain. It's a mid-tower case made of steel and plastic and it weighs around 24 pounds. It ships in a brown cardboard box with a drawing of the unit on the front and details on its features on the back. 
The front side of this case comes across as quite edgy, with sharp corners and straight lines that look pretty good. At the bottom of the front, you'll find the redesigned dust filter, and behind the dust filter, there's a 140mm fan. I should also mention that there are also mounting holes for a 120mm variant, which is great because it gives you a certain amount of flexibility. The interior of the fractal design Define R5 looks very traditional. It's a very versatile case because you can remove just everything. The installation process of the motherboard is done by traditional means. On the inside, everything is made out of metal, which is great. You should check this one out because it has an excellent construction quality, looks just amazing, and on top of that it comes at a very reasonable price. With all these great features, the Fractal Design Define R5 surely doesn't let you down. Number 3. It's the NZXT H200 Another great PC case is the NZXT H200. This one is a premium mini ITX PC case that has almost every feature that a high-end PC case should have. It offers excellent performance, good-looking design and included RGB and fan control, and an attractive price to wrap up the package. The build of this mini case is made of tempered glass and steel, and it comes available in matte black, black and red, black and blue, and black and white colour schemes. Furthermore, when it comes to the ports, this one on top has two USB 2.0 ports, standard audio jacks, and the power button. On the rear of the case, there's a fan mount that can house 120mm fans, and it supports PS2 form factor power supplies and an SFX form factor adapter for many ITX builders who want to utilize a smaller format for their rigs. In the front, it has removable air filters, and it also has featured a dedicated top air intake system that comes with its air filters. You should also know that you can't remove the top air filter for cleaning unless you also remove the fan because it will not stay there without it. Moreover, I should also mention that there's a removable radiator that you can install on the front of the NZXT H200. The cable management process should be very easy on this one because there's a lot of clearance behind the motherboard tray. If that's not enough, you should know that there are specific channels for cable management so you can secure excess cables with ease. It's the best mini case in the market thanks to the build quality, excellent features and amazing performance. At number 2, it's the Fractal Design Meshify C. One of the best mid-tower cases in the market is the Fractal Meshify C. This one has a very nice looking design and has plenty of ports that might help you a lot. When it comes to the design, this one is available in black colour edition with a Fractal Design that looks and performs pretty well. The mesh of IC is made primarily of solid steel components, has a few bits made of ABS plastic and the left side of the chassis is covered in tempered tinted glass. It's a well-built case that can last you for years without a problem. The only bit of coloured LED to see is the backlit power button which glows blue and everything else is black, which in my opinion is very cool. Furthermore, you should know that the front I.O. panel is part of the front bezel, and it includes the reset button, HD audio jacks, the power button, and a pair of USB 3.0 ports. The left side of the chassis uses tempered tinted glass to cover the interior, while still offering some view of the interior. On the other hand, the right-hand side of the device has little to see, just an expanse of steel where the tempered glass was on the other side. Performance-wise, this nice case is an ITX, Mini ATX and ATX form factor compatible case that features a highly optimised open-air interior design, offering room for the most popular component setups. Something else you should know is that the Meshif IC has a compact footprint with a high-end component support of a larger tower, and with seven fan mounts and multi-radiator liquid cooling capability, it has the cooling capacity to match. Overall, it's a very cool-looking PC case that has a nice design, and it delivers a great performance. To conclude, I'd say that if you're looking for a low-cost, primary-level case that has plenty of great features, the Fractal Meshif IC is the one for you. At number one, it's the Corsair Obsidian 1000D. As our top pick, we have the Corsair Obsidian 1000D. This one is a very large case that looks very premium and it delivers outstanding performance. It's an absolute beast. It can house a complete EATX and mini ITX system concurrently, two power supplies, two motherboards, two full PCs in one case, which is amazing. However, the size is not the best thing about this beast because the Obsidian 1000D has a very stylish exterior and uses brushed aluminium along with four smoke-tempered glass panels, which make this one look very premium. As I just said, the design is just astonishing. It measures 27.3 by 12.1 by 27.3 inches, and the entire case weighs around 65 pounds. The chassis supports 8 fans up front and 13 in total. 
Furthermore, the back panel has a total of seven expansion slots for PCIe and nine including the vertical GPU mounting space, which is great. This one can hold 11 wonderful drives, five in 3.5 inch format and six in 2.5 inch format. It has two USB 3.1 Type-C ports, four USB 3.0, two 3.5mm jacks, a reset and a power button. It has an amazing design, great connectivity options and plenty more great features that make the Obsidian 1000D the best PC case in the market without a doubt. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.